Get in nerds, we're playing Stellaris. I've decided on my Ascension perk. I've decided we're playing the great game, and the game is great. Uh, and in order to be the best at it, we're gonna need to build a super battleship. And we'll see, uh, this might be stupid. And it'll give everybody a CB against us, but it'll give everybody a super battleship test, but it'll give us a super battleship test CB against everyone else. And I don't know if that's wise, but we'll find out. Kablam! Oh my, we've gotten an event. Previously spoken of only in hushed voices, and before then only in whispers in the most labyrinthine corridors of military skunkworks facilities, the Colossus Project now enjoys official sanction. Possibly the single greatest military innovation the galaxy will ever see, the Colossus Project comprises the development of a planet-killer weapons platform, as well as a Colossus hull configuration to carry it. Colossus vessels will likely require an escort, as the projected demands of a planet killer weapon preclude any other armament. Nevertheless, the Colossus, once developed, promises to be perhaps the single most destructive force in the galaxy. New sit -row. It's a special project. It'll take 24 months. Uh, what are we doing? Yeah, we can definitely, we can definitely hold off on advanced sight and holes while we do that. Where is it? Oh boy, drunken kitty brain. Alright, let's confirm here. Science Division, report success. I'm nice food again. Uh, let's continue to sell food. Uh, it's getting us playing energy credits, and energy credits are something we can absolutely, positively, hundo percent make use of. Still building a lot of Titans. I'm not going to build another round of Titans until that uh, Colossus assembly art is done, because I want to keep building uh, big ol' oh, genomes. Can't go wrong with genomes. So, am I the Senate? At this point? I think yes. And, uh... Let me see. I think we're, uh... I think we're, we're where we want to be. So, uh... Appeal the Guardian Angels Act. Let's, uh... Let's support this. Um... Yep, that'll be up there. That's beautiful. Still on the Galactic Council. And we're going to need to spend some influence to get that, uh... Science Division, report success. To get that Galactic Council resolution passed. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Makes our leaders better. We're going to need to spend some influence to get that Galactic Construction uh, Council complete. resolution that, uh, passed. Let's, so let's see complete. what the path is to that. Um, we don't want council size 4. Um, I don't care about any of this administering sanctions. Um, reduced habitability seems not great. We'll, we'll, we'll worry about that. Um, as the council veto power, I don't want that yet. I'm gonna want that once I'm the only person on the council. So, let's go with Galactic Reform. Okay, this costs 200 influence. It's the announcement power. It's a fun one. Give myself a permanent council seat. That would be a fun time. Golly, there are just so many opportunities for flagrant abuse of power. Uh, let's take a break from building fortresses to start building chemical plants. Increase our moat output. Because our moat output is still a little shabby. And one of the things you always want to do as you get into the Science game is develop a real... Uh, is develop a real, real solid surplus of strategic resources. Because that's something you can never... Oh, that's good. Yes, definitely we want additional consumer goods. Um, this is genuine unemployment we have. That's exciting. Inbound message traffic. Still? No. Inbound message traffic. Will you people relax? I am trying to build myself a giant star empire here, and you're trying to get me to join your stupid federation. Um, which I don't love. Wait. I'm an idiot. 
I'm a big idiot. Well, that was that was strong. Um, I definitely, I definitely, uh, Construction I definitely wanted to feel that. That was dumb. I did that thing again. I'm always looking at at what's over here and not what's in the uh, in the thing. Have we defeated the Great Khan yet? The Great Khan is still pretty full up on fleets, but he seems to have stopped conquering for the moment. So I think everyone's kind of over there doing their, their level best as dumb AI empires. I gained a bunch of influence here. Why did I get influence? <laughs> oh, I've got to pick right now. Leaving scientists across all conceivable fields, so at last finally is their proposals for the pl planet killer weapons uh, that will arm our first Colossus type ships. We may select one proposal to develop alongside the final stages of the Colossus project. <laughs> Gun pointed at the head of the universe. God, what a great title. Leaving, uh, here are our options. We have the World Cracker, a direct feed of thermic energy superheats the atmosphere and agitates the planet's core setting up disastrous tectonic events. A final and comparatively minute concussive blast is then delivered, cracking the planet open. Wow, that is brutal. That's the Death Star. That's straight the Death Star. All right, so that's, that's, that's pretty brutal. Neutron sweep. Uh, an accelerated plume of neutron radiation paints the planet's surface. Severely degrading most materials and directly destroying biological tissue. Jesus! Wow! Alright. So. Oh boy! I guess now I know why these give you a CB. Um. Well, gosh. These are all just amazing. So, okay, so we can we can destroy planets completely, or we can I assume this just kills all the pops, which is totally devastating. Really ridiculous. Uh let's do it. Let's do this one. Um this one, I don't I don't I don't want to be blasting whole planets. So, I mean, hopefully I won't have to use this this planet killer weapon at all, but I mean, I did develop it, so, you know. I guess what I'm saying is I, I, I chose this. I chose this. For ultimate deterrence, uh, let's go with, let's go with, let's go with clears the planet without making it completely annihilated. And we're into the uh, energy weapon repeatables. Wow, gosh, we are really getting. Uh, I mean, this is a forge world. We're really, we've really gotten to the point where we're maxed out on so much, so many delightful things. We're getting there. We're getting there, friends. We're really, we're really built up properly. Ah, oh, this is so fun. This guy's still on his way there. Ah, beautiful. Survey the system. We'll finally complete our habitable world survey. Um, and eventually we can get you over here. And then once we've got jump drive, we can get you there. <sighs> Fully built out. Not quite. Uh, again, you always want to guard the terminal in our system because anybody could send themselves through here. And then they could get access to anywhere in the Alps, and you wouldn't want that to happen, would you? Have I got any sources of Sro? I did get that technology a little while back. I do. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm chock full of sources of Sro. Never mind, Science going over there. Report success. We need to. You need to build us out some Zero refineries. ASAP. This is exciting. Um, I won't be able to use Zero, but it will be very effective. What have we learned out of? Information large. That's okay. 
fast two boosters. Beautiful. We'll do two world adaptation next. Uh, and we're going to switch over to capacity boosters because uh, we want our leaders to be as strong and good as they can be. And we've almost got the amount of influence that we need for our favorite proposal. Survey completed. 500 energy credits. Oh yeah. Alright. Galactic performance. Size 2. Propose. That costs us a ton of... Uh, that costs us a ton of influence, but... It's here. It's right up behind the, uh... We're gonna abstain on this because I wanna, uh... I wanna go ahead and, and make myself... Beast Queen of, of all existence here. That should be the official title of the leader of my empire. It's not, but it should be. Sell some more food. Um, this price keeps going back up, and that means other people are eventually buying the food that we sell on the Galactic Market, so that's good for us. Science Division reports success. Uh, we'll go ahead and... How's our... Oh, it's, it's beautiful. We've got a ton of game capacity. Um, again, chemical plant. Science, two more ability, lovely. All right, we got the repeatable for Starbase Cap, so that's lovely. That's just excellent. Um, I do want... There's something in, in there that I want. I can't quite figure it out, but there's... <sighs> Beautiful. So, our total Titan capacity is 7, but it will continue to go up as our naval capacity increases, which it is going to continue to do. Um, research lands. So, what about this world? We've got a giant abundance of minerals, so I'm just going to replace these mine districts with city districts. <sighs> you know, I I tried with you guys. Truly, I did. I want you to know that when I was a young Construction complete. a young empire, I really, really wanted to be part of your mystical federation, but now I just I want other stuff out of life. I'm trying to get this frickin' uh, I'm trying to get... That's what I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get the uh, Last Ascension perk, which you need to get through a tech, which you've seen before, if you've watched my other LP. Let's go with the count... Uh, let's go with the fortress here. Special project complete. The Colossus Project, the monumental task of designing the biggest weapons platform in Crick's history, and a neutron sweep to arm it with has yielded results and drawn to a close. So now we gain the capacity to research the technologies which we will use. We're going to go ahead and do... We haven't gained it yet. Uh, okay, well, pretty soon we'll go ahead and research that. And here we're going to build Colossus Assembly Yards here in our capital. So it's going to be a minute before we have ourselves a giant, ridiculous... Death Star type weapon, but it's gonna be a good time, and you're all gonna be really impressed, I hope. Still low on chemical, uh, on volatile moats, so more chemical plants is gonna be the way to go with this. Also, need to pay attention to make sure that our worlds don't get completely underdeveloped, because I have made that mistake before, and it's not pretty. How are we doing on administrative capacity. We're, we're doing pretty well with administrative capacity, to be completely honest, friends. Um, we've had some, some ups and downs with that, but I think we finally basically sorted ourselves out with that. So I'm, I'm pleased. I'm pleased with this outcome. I'm going to need to get some more exotic gas refineries pretty soon. System reconnaissance completed. Because we're still a little short on that, and in fact, let's queue one up here. Construction complete. And another one here. I think this world is going to be a uh, refinery world. Again, because we've got such an enormous mineral income, and we're not we're not doing that. I'm not doing that because of edicts, right? No. Okay. Science division <laughs> Just making sure. success. I have done that 
before. Um, beautiful. But why won't you give me the thing that I desire? Mm. I wonder if that tech only unlocks when I'm at the end of the uh, of all the ascension perks. I am definitely going to get the thing that's extra damage at the end game crisis because I want to be I want to be someone that that saves the world like a like a like a giant like a giant bamf. I definitely want. That. Why am I building a listening post here? Did I mistake the? I did. Well, alcohol will destroy your brain, kids. Don't uh, don't smoke too much. Smoke is how you get alcohol in your system, right? I'm cool, right? Crystal mines. Maybe they all special stuff. I didn't build crystal mines. Oh my gosh, I didn't even build uh, these. Well, we're gonna need to rectify that. Replace this with some gas extraction wells. Let's put that up up top because we're gonna then have a, uh, a fussy job situation. That's gonna, we're gonna need to sort that out. Doing plenty of construction here. Again, we're just quietly managing our traffic. economy. No, I don't. I no, no, I don't. I don't think I will. Science division report success. Hmm. Ascension theory. Here we go. Unlocks the Unity Ambitions. The Unity Ambitions are just stupid, by which I mean they're awesome. I'm um, hoping we get this quite complete. soon. 19 months. Well, it'll be a minute. Beautiful. And let's go ahead and begin uh, building that up right away, because we've got the necessary alloys to do it, and then once we've got the access to the uh, ascension perk that gives us additional construction complete super construction capacity so it's now in session i support this i don't see why anyone would not support it and and Science in fact I, uh, a new breakthrough. I am pretty sure no one has the capacity to earnestly and truly oppose me with this so enjoy everything i don't know anyone any favors so i'm just i'm just Tickle pink with this. I've been outputting giant interstellar warships this whole time, and uh, soon I'm going to have the capacity to uh, to increase my naval capacity further, and that's just going to make my life happy times all day and in every way. Why? How are we getting unemployment here? You're a robot. <sighs> you can't work as a bureaucrat because you're a robot. Hang on a moment. <sighs> Robotic workers are allowed. Artificial intelligence servitude. Printed for taking ruler jobs. Citizen rights. Science division report That's success. Right. That's odd. Uh, I don't know why that. Oh my goodness. Oh! Oh, we can research the other ones. So, okay, so this is another global... This is another planet killer. The global pacifier. A shielding field is deployed around a planet, creating a barrier that is permanent and impenetrable, save for some wavelengths of light. Um, and we're going to do that, because I want to keep my options open. I maxed out on, on cash, so what we're going to do is now that we're all full up on cash... We're going to buy ourselves some strategic resources. This will deplete our cash stores pretty aggressively, but we can afford it because we got all these strategic resources, and that will finally make us... That will finally put us where we want to be. Is it time to sweep in and deal with this horde? I think the answer is maybe yes. If I do that, what will happen? These folks have plenty of space to expand into. You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait out the horde. 
I'm just gonna wait out the horde. I'm fine over here in my systems. And uh, everyone else can Construction enjoy complete. what they've got to enjoy. How are things? Everyone opposes this except me and the allied if our stars who really like me. Oh my gosh, this is the best. This is the best. I am the Senate. <laughs> oh, what a dork I am right here. Right here. This is how freedom dies. To roaring applause. Oh, let's build some more star bases. You never have too many alloys. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Construction complete. And that finishes us out here. So that'll get us Defender of the Galaxy, and I think Still not sure about the last one. But uh, you can't, you can't, you can't win the great game if you're not. Uh... Ooh, that's neat. Yeah. So this unlocks a special building that costs nanites, which we've got a small amount of, but yields all the other strategic resources. And I think actually I'm going to do that because I don't. I like this nanite actuator's edict is the only other thing I can find that you do with nanites. It costs 941 nanites and. I don't see a world in which that really, in which that becomes something I get. Uh, we're about to unlock Ascension Theory, which will give us the capacity to, again, dramatically, dramatically increase our new capacity. And then it'll be just a few years before we can pop our first Ascension perk, or our first, uh, Ascension Theory, Unity, Ambition. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Beautiful. So we'll just continue to increase the output of our armaments because, heck, you can never go wrong with getting a giant navy. You know, as Al Capone apocryphally said, you can get more of what you want with a kind word and a gun than you can with just a kind word. And we've shown that that's more than... Um, more than true here. Also, with synchronization, I'm going to oppose this again. I, uh. I don't, I don't want that. What do I want? I want what's on the floor right now. And then I'm going <laughs> to. I'm going to propose repeal communal gardens. Uh, because I completely goofed that up. Like a big, dumb cat. Uh, yes, I want to continue to support the artisan troop. Because that's that's just it's just unity for energy credits, and I've got more energy credits than you can shake complete. a stick at right now. So, and I'll continue to have more as I. Uh... Beautiful. Uh, and I will continue to have more as time goes on. I'm doing fine on moats. I need refineries. Beautiful. So, civilization and advanced battleship hall. That's absolutely something I need. So now we have these unity edicts. Have I got enough to pop one already? No, but I've got 9,000 unity, so it won't be long. I think the first one I'm going to do is definitely going to be a grand fleet, because that will increase the size of my fleet, my naval capacity. And you know how much Science baby division. likes naval class. A new breakthrough. Sure, we'll get the Galactic Stock Exchange. You know, we're just cleaning out the, the the bottom of the tech tree at this point. We're just taking the tech tree and and uh, inbound message traffic. I don't need that. I'm super strong research wise. Just gonna go ahead and run that. We're doing that thing that birds do. We're taking the tech tree and we're doing that thing that birds do. And if you don't know what that thing that birds is that birds do, 
Enjoy not knowing, because... Inbound message traffic. Ah, no. I don't... I don't want that. Um... I don't want that. The whole galaxy is gonna be my... my federation pretty soon. Look at this. Our diplomatic weight continues to increase. And it's gonna go way, way up once these, uh... these six ships pop. Lovely. That's our... Campaigns. I'm just gonna hit all of them again. And, uh, got so much of the stuff that we want to have. We're just gonna so it all. Doing pretty well with consumer guns. We've got plenty of storage capacity, but on the other hand, we could. Eh, we'll wait. We'll continue to build up a supply. We've got to colonize Cybrex Alpha now. It's time. It's time. And I gotta figure out a nice themed name set for those worlds so that I can, uh, so that we can all have happy times together. How are we with the Interstellar Assembly? We're getting there. Construction complete. We're getting there, friends. So much to do. So... I could pick a fight with these conservers. It sure would be fun. That would do... I don't want to do that right now immediately, though. I have so much... naval power here ready to go. If I do that... Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's be honest here. Got about 100 here. Got about 100 and... Got about 100 here. I'm running down, as you can tell, because I'm... Sirg Water Kite has arrested development. That's Science not great. Division reports That's theoretically not great. Let's just take another crack at that and see. I'll go back to that thing I was working on in a minute. Uh, he's level 6. I don't care at all about arrested development in that state. So we got some naval capacity here, some naval capacity here. I don't remember if I was upgrading this fleet. I don't think it matters. Uh, all my fleets are super, super success. strong right now, so... That is what it is. I think I have the capacity to, to go up against them if I... If I truly, like... If I completely devote my empire to it. I might. The Abyss Maker class! Oh! <gasps> That's just ridiculous. Oh my gosh. What a name. What a name for a world. For a ship. What a name for a ship. Um, do I want to build that nanite transmuter? Yes. Do I want to build it here? No. Maybe here. Here's a good place for it. Again, just build up, up a good stock of strategic resources. Have we got enough for a unity ambition? Halfway there. We got one last ascension perk. I do like World Shaper. Science Division reports the new breakthrough. I could truly go crazy on star bases if I uh, took grasp of the void. Oh, the juggernaut! Oh man! Yep, doing it. <laughs> We're going whole hog. The entire hog. We're going ham. As they say on, on length book, the uh, the corner of Facebook devoted to big beautiful cats, we're going full ham. Let's get you going over here. Is this really the path we're going to take? Through the stars of our enemies? Um, what about you? Are you weak? You are comparatively, actually. Oh, no, you're not. You're just about as strong as those other guys. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna tangle with them yet. Did I get Galactic Contender? I did. So I have some pretty, some pretty excellent bonuses against them. 
We're still definitely uh, in a place where we're increasing our power in the Senate, because as I have mentioned, I am the Senate. Beautiful, we've got the influence that we want. I wonder... Now I think they don't get the CB against me until I actually build those, those weapons. Beautiful. Now let's just go ahead and press that button again, shall we? We experienced a death. Who an envoy. Well, that's okay. We're gonna get some more envoys from this Galactic Assembly. Beautiful. How are we doing on unity? Um, we're not gonna be able to do this together, so I'm gonna queue up. Some battleships. <laughs> to work on simultaneously with this thing. Oh, this is truly going to take forever, isn't it? Science Division report success. And let's take a look at the ship designer. The Abyss Maker, Colossus class. Okay, so this this goes with the neutron sweep. So, is the neutron sweep better than the shield? The the, sh the shielder. It is. Are we truly on hyperdrive three right now? That's gotta be a mistake. Am I not? Are there only three tiers of hyperdrive? Is that what's going on? Am I? Am I just big down right now? Maybe. Let's go with maybe. Um, I got the neutron sweep and I've got the global pacifier. <laughs> it says hover over size icon to see detailed info, but it's not showing me. Um, yeah, okay. Alright, alright, alright. So there's... It's not, it's not for use as a weapon. Weapon, weapon. Do we want to build that right now? I think... I think... Uh, I think yes. I think yes is the answer. And... Well, so the question is, will this completely kibosh... Okay, I built my first... Yeah, look at that diplomatic weight. Um, I think that will completely kibosh my capacity to, uh, let's say, liberate other empires. What kind of naval strength do I have now? Oh my gosh, it's, they're so strong. They're so strong! That's a maybe. I think that's a maybe. Ah, beautiful. Uh, I think you've seen this event chain already, because I think I built it in my other LP. But yeah, we're just going to keep on doing that. Uh, soon, we're going to get ourselves a new envoy, and that's just going to make us diplomatically quite heavy. Nearly there for this, uh, this edict. Um, and it's going to be a grand fleet. We're just going to, we're just going to go, again, a whole hog on building up our our naval facilities because we're just because we deserve it we owe it to ourselves to reclaim the empire that we once held our or to reclaim our dominion over all over the whole galaxy so this great con thing sure is taking its sweet time sorting itself out um, I do need to make a plan to sort of, for, for our late game events, I know it's going to involve at least a couple more interesting wars, but for the moment, um, this is all the time I've got. So, I've had fun, I hope you've had fun, and I'll see you all on the other side.